And Indianapolis, the capital city, seeing a recent rise in violent crime and a group of barbers are now reaching out to at-risk youth, taking action by giving them new opportunities. Take a look. You may not think of a high school as the place for a haircut, but that's what happens every Wednesday here at George Washington High School in Indianapolis, Indiana. With clippers in hand, barbers talk with teens about overcoming daily struggles and resolving conflict without violence. When you have anger inside, it's best to talk to people rather than hold it in. The Barbershop Talks is an effort to shield at-risk youth from an uptick in violent crime across the city of Indianapolis, which recorded more than 200 homicides in 2022, making it one of the deadliest years in the city's history, according to law enforcement. And according to the Gun Violence Archives, more than 1,600 children across the country under age 18 died from guns last year, the highest ever recorded. I've been cutting hair for over 30 years. I started when I was 18, and like I told them before, it saved my life. Barbers like Derek McAtee not only style hair, he's aiming to be a support figure for the teens who sit in his chair. Everybody that sits in my chair, I call them nephew and I'm uncle. Well, they know they can come to me to talk about anything. It's going to stay between us. You know what I'm saying? Local activist Antonio Patton began community outreach 20 years ago out of what he says was a need to inspire young men. I knew then that we needed not to be the adults sitting on the stage projecting to the youth, but we needed to be in the audience listening to the youth project to us. It was amid the city's crime surge last year that he took the barbershop talks inside. So far this year, there have been nearly 50 homicides across the city, with six of those victims under the age of 18. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of saying I'm sick and tired. I have a 17-year-old son of my own. Can't imagine, don't want to imagine. And this year, one special guest tries not to miss the barbershop talks himself. Indiana Pacers star George Hill Jr., who says Patton helped get him off the streets. Uh, he was one of the guys when I was coming up as a kid um, that was kind of running around the neighborhood. I had the same struggles as them growing up, so uh, that's why it's important to me. And for students like Isaiah White, this program is a lifeline. I don't even care about the haircuts. I just want to be here because it's like I get to be around people that are like me because it's like a change. Like. I get real emotional because nobody's ever done this before. And it's like, I want to be here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I like, need a minute, right? Oh, it was yeah. so sad. And oh. just, it's so great that they're doing that. But as we have covered, I'm so sorry, guys, but as we've covered the violence around this country, the gun violence and how it impacts youth to have a program like this, to see the impact it has on those kids is incredible. And just a big shout out to, uh, I'm so sorry, I'm so emotional, that no, was so we, sad. No, shouldn't but, be sorry um, at all. Yeah. Abby Crew is one of our incredible reporters here at ABC News. She turned that story, and our viewers may recognize her from Power Trip. Yeah. Um, she's just an, important, an incredible reporter, and so to bring that story, it was great. Thank you to Abby and to everyone who's doing work like that. I mean, that. we saw what it meant to Isaiah. <sighs> Oh and we gosh. see what it means to you. And what that one man said about yeah. needing to actually be in the audience to and, be, and to be listening. And we see the impact directly. But yeah. Very nice story. Thank you for bringing that. And thank to Abby as well. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.